everyone, welcome back to the Sunday video here on the Big Creative Development YouTube channel. Today we are going to be creating our first config files we ever have in our plugin. Today in this video we're only going to be creating the files, we will not actually be using them yet. We're just going to make sure we can create them, get them to generate successfully, and in episode number 11 we will start using them to customize some of our old commands and things we've done before into using a config file. Currently, I have a quick a little bit of a warning message to everybody. In the latest Windows update, zero, I believe it's 1089, uh, control and shift buttons are broken, which means you cannot control shift F inside of IntelliJ, which will search everything in your file. I find this extremely terrible because I always use control shift F for like everything I'm doing in IntelliJ. And half my games have shortcuts like that, so it makes this very annoying to do. It's just a warning to your Windows users, don't update yet. It's not worth it. Things are still broken. There is a new update, 190, I think, or something like that, coming out soon that should fix the issue. Um, I've talked to Microsoft a little bit about it. They, I guess, are aware of it. I don't know. They really didn't. They gave me, like, a robot response to it, so we'll see what happens. But in order to create our go-ahead and our create our config files, we're going to create a f private file. We are going to name it uh, config. Well, we're going to actually do two things. We're going to name it config f. Um, I will show you why in a minute. So our file, our private file, is actually going to be called config f, uh, config file, that stands for. And our private file configuration, which is the bucket one, is going to be named config. I might have imported the wrong thing here so let me make sure I've imported the correct file yes I did so our private file will be called config f and our file configuration will be called config the reason why we do this and I'll show you in a minute then we're gonna create a private void which is we're gonna call create files that we are going to run in our um, startup in our on enable so we can go ahead and add create files to our on enable process so it's gonna run whatever we put in here then we are going to say, let's get our config f, and that's going to equal a new file, which we are going to create in our get data folder, which is going to be our plugin folder, and we're going to name it something. In this case, we're going to name it config.yml, if you spell config right, and just end the bracket there. Then we're going to have to say, well, what if it doesn't exist? How do we create it? Well, we're going to do if config f does not exist so we'll put a exclamation point in front of it and make sure put exists we're gonna do something so if it does not exist we are gonna do config f dot get parent file dot m k d r that one sorry I'm I'm a little out of it I guess I finished finals while I'm recording this so I'm a little tired and then we're going to do save resource, save resource, we're going to name it whatever our file name was, so config.yml, and we're going to do replace as, and then make it an unquote, and then we're going to say we're going to not replace it. So what this is saying, let's go over what this says right here. Well, first we're going to def just say that we have a new config file called config f. Our file configuration is going to be named config, so that's what we're going to use to get it. The config file is going to be named config.yml, and if it does not exist, we're going to create it. Now let's go ahead and set up the configuration file. So then we're going to do config equals new yml configuration. That's all you have to do for that line. Then you're going to try. So this is where we're going to. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. We're going to try to load it. So config.load, and then we're going to lo load whatever the config f is. And then what you're going to do is you're going to close bracket and then you're going to do catch and it's going to be IO exception. And then also put the dash, the yeah, straight line up and down invalid configuration. Con con yeah. Configuration exception E out catch in and then we're going to do E dot print stack trace. So let's go over what we just coded here. It's going to try to load the config file if it exists already. It's going to load it with the default things that we've created here. And if it error, if something happens, it's going to throw us an error so we are able to diagnose what happens. 
this is all you have uh, not all you have to do now you go over to your resources folder over here you're gonna right click oh that's great come on until okay there we go right click click new click a file name your file the same you just created config.yml press enter um, it's going to be a YML file why yeah you could do a text file you could do oh I realized what happened here I put a comma instead of the dot there we go make sure you add it to github now anything in your config file is going to register to make it blank out so nothing happens in it uh, number sign and say this is our config file now if we go ahead and save and we go ahead and build our project and rebuild we're gonna go ahead and drag this into our folder so let me go ahead and do that now I believe it's called YT test copy is our plugin yes it is let's open up our development let's go YT tutorials let's copy the jar we just created into our plugin folder start up our minecraft and start up our minecraft plugin here we actually don't have to start up our minecraft because we're doing nothing in game in this um, thing and then what we're gonna see is if it creates a folder called tutorial one which it did we did get an error but that is from yes okay we do have an issue here so it did not create anything the reason why if we look at our issue, you can see I did the same thing I did before I didn't put a dot I put a dash or a underscore in it which we did right here we put a comma instead of a dot if we go ahead and rebuild our file once again we will be able to tell that stop our server we will be able to um, drag in our new jar which we have here into our plugins folder and we're gonna start up again this time it's gonna create successfully this happens a lot to me I'm a bad speller I can't notice small things I'm in honors English but I still cannot spell uh, my teacher doesn't appreciate that now that if we go into our folder you can see the config.yml file generated correctly and it says this is our config file um, just to make sure that all work we're gonna just clear all our notepad plus plus tabs and open it up again and says this is our config file so everything we did successfully worked. there's no errors anymore everything's loaded we haven't done anything with this file yet we've just created the file in order to use for future videos in episode number 11 we will be actually using our config file to do something that will be coming out later this week or next week depending on when I get my headphones because I'm still missing my headphones a week after they broke which is really annoying warranties are annoying because they take so long to get here um, if you have suggestions for future videos let me know down in the comments below make sure if you need support join our discord we'll be happy to help you out I will see you in the next video tomorrow goodbye everybody